that back to me. Kids are still reading it, um, and the parents have read it, so it's, it's a really good title, and hopefully a sequel will inspire people to come along and see what happens next. The young people really enjoy playing mad. Uh, they're not quite mad enough yet, but I'm sure they will be. Um, and it's, yes, it's weird characters, so they're not really playing anything that's like themselves, apart from uh, the human characters, Alice and her family, because we start off with a very sad scene with Alice um, at her mother's funeral, which is, you know, it sounds as if it's going to be terribly doom-laden and gloomy, but it's not, actually, because all comes right in the end. But you'll have to come and see it to find that out. Well, I like quite a few of the songs, I suppose. I shouldn't say that since I wrote them, but uh, Alice has a rather nice song um, all about making sense because her life doesn't make sense at the time. And uh, the Mad Hatter has a very nice song, but come along and choose your own. They can expect comedy, heartbreak, madness, big chorus numbers, some lovely solo songs, so some, some good toe-tapping tunes, I hope, um, some good laughs, and um, well, you'll have to wait and see. I keep, you know, I'm not going to give everything away, but as usual with our summer performances, there's a happy ending for most people. It's so hard to work out where the first one had gone. Your 